Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick video, um, probably would have actually made this a short if I could figure out what's going on with my shorts tool, why it's not working, but um, neighbor had a copperhead show up on their porch and luckily I was able to get the call um, for help, which I prefer, I would much rather show up with tools than have someone try to remove a copperhead on their own. But uh, that's that's life in light country. Um, no matter how many copperheads you kill, they're always going to be here. Trust me. Uh, it's the perfect habitat for them. And um, it's not a lot else to be said. I'm going to relocate this guy tomorrow because I just got in from getting him. And don't know if I'll film the relocation or not, don't know if I'll have time, but I did get some shots of him while he was in my garage, where he's staying in a safe and secure trash can for the night. Uh, check it out. <laughs> And this is the little guy that I got out of a person's shed <clears throat> over here by the Lake Keystone area. It's a little copperhead. I think this is a female. I'm holding her over the bucket so you can see the... Uh, the tongue flicker. You can see it real good against that uh, black backdrop of the trash can. <sighs> this snake is um, is really pretty common around your lakes in northeastern Oklahoma. It's um. Definitely uh, one of the more prolific snakes and probably the most frequently encountered pit viper in northeastern Oklahoma. Check out that tongue. That's so cool. Sadly, these guys do have run-ins with people. Um, I have known uh, quite a few people who have gotten bit by him. And I am in no way trying to minimize the experience, but um, a lot of times, a lot of the bites that I've heard of from these guys are like people going out barefoot at night or wearing sandals at night. They accidentally step on one and then, well, you know, you get bit. Good news about these guys is their venom, although you would always want to take it seriously, it's generally not life-threatening. You're generally going to spend a day in the hospital, and, or two, maybe two days in the hospital and be home. I'll let this guy, or actually this lady, go uh, tomorrow far away from some people, far away from where it was found, and hope you guys watched it. And um, please remember, I have quite a bit of experience in... Uh, messing with snakes, so don't try this on your own. Thank you guys for watching, and please hit subscribe.